So yesterday I arrived home to a package that was sitting outside of my door. I wasn't sure what it was. It was kind of big. Um, I was expecting something in the mail, but I didn't think this was it. It was too heavy for what I was expecting. So I opened it up, and the first thing I think is, I look, as I look at the cover, was that somebody sent me a mouse trap by mistake. Um, I saw the little mouse emblem here. I had no idea what it was. So I opened the thing up, and it turns out, that Google had sent me their new Chrome operating system in the form of the CR48. I was pretty excited about this. Um, obviously this isn't going to be an unboxing video because I've already unboxed it. Uh, it's not going to be your traditional unboxing video because I've already set it up. Uh, but here is the computer itself. It's literally booting up right now. Um, the time that it takes to boot up is relatively short. That's it, it's booted up. Now all I have to do is put in my password, which I'm gonna do off screen. Okay, I put in my password, waiting for it to boot up. And there you go. It's booting up. And I've already got a few of my pages uh, favorited over here on the bar which I'm not going to let you read my email but I have Gmail already Google Reader and Facebook and you can add whatever you want up there um, basically if you've already used the Chrome browser for Windows you know exactly what the Chrome OS is it's this very little difference between the two one of the notable differences is up here in the left hand corner you have your time you have a Wi-Fi uh, notification that you can change on the fly um, if you'd rather use 3G. Uh, also, by the way, Google included 100 free megabytes a month of 3G service uh, for two years for everybody they sent this laptop to. And they also have the battery indicator up here, which the battery that they put in this thing is, they say it gives you about eight hours. Um, I plugged it in last night, kept it charging, and it showed up this morning with about seven and a half remaining. Um, I've been using it a good bit today already, and it's saying 61%, 4 hours and 20 minutes remaining, so that's about accurate. Um, I'd say you'd probably get about a good 7.5 out of this. Um, the way that this operating system works, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Google uh, Chrome's operating system yet, but it's all cloud-based, which uh, basically means that you are able to do everything from the net. Um, none of your work is really done on the hard drive as far as applications go they're all called web apps and for an example of that many of you are familiar with the popular app called TweetDeck well Chrome OS has its own version of this which looks a lot like it except it runs in a browser itself it also if you go to if you want to go to more apps you basically go to the new tab option and opens up a new tab and it brings up all of the relevant apps that you have right there on your screen now if you notice I have Netflix on here right now as of right now the Chrome OS does not support uh, Netflix hopefully that will change soon I think that might be a real uh, game breaker for a lot of people because I know Netflix is in, you know insanely popular these days a lot of people use it but if you can't stream movies from a web-based uh, operating system, I'm not sure you know, what good that'll be. But um, for the most part, my initial impressions with this, I'm very pleased with it. Um, I first got it in, I was like, I really wasn't sure what I would be doing with it. But um, I'm, I'm going to law school right now, and I'm taking exams this week. And I've already used it uh, to access uh, outlines and stuff for my law exams right there on Google Docs and actually used them side by side with my uh, laptop you know checking one and then looking over and checking this one so it's been very helpful in that aspect um, checking email on it is a breeze I mean anything that you do in a Google Chrome browser you can do in this thing um, I really don't I, honestly I see in the in the coming years uh, whenever this gets to be more uh, implemented 
they I, I believe that this will take over the netbook um, I don't see any reason at this point if you have this and it's working uh, nicely that you really need a netbook at all um, as far as notebooks I think it's gonna it, it takes a lot of work to get to the point where they're gonna bypass the notebook um, where you're just gonna need this in place of the notebook um, I could see this being a good companion piece or if you just have people that want to you know do the the essentials like check email get on Facebook um, which some would argue is not an essential <laughs> um, or you know make presentations with Google Docs you know that sort of thing I think it'd be great for them um, I bet you my mom would really love one of these because uh, it's, it's so instantaneous let me show you exactly how quick it pops up all right I've just put it to sleep by closing the lid you open the lid back up and that's as, that's how quickly it comes out of sleep that's pretty impressive um, that feature alone has been very convenient uh, to me over the last 24 hours of using this thing uh, I see myself using it more and more on a daily basis the more familiar I get with it uh, and, and I'm sure the more updates that come out with Google they, they have a lot of things they're discussing about this um, and I, I think the more updates come out the better off it'll be in the long run but for right now um, I think Acer's coming out with their own Chrome OS no, uh, netbook or notebook or whatever they're gonna call it uh, next year sometime uh, so if I were you and you're looking in the area you're in the market for a good netbook I might hold out and actually wait on uh, the Chrome OS system to come out see if you might like that better it's just it's a breeze to use I don't know how else to describe it um, for any of you developers out there who might be wondering about memory uh, let me pull this up real quick it's, I know that's rough but maybe that'll somebody will take a still and blow that up or something I'm not sure but anyway yeah I just wanted to share it with you as of right now this this laptop is not on the market it's called the CR48 and uh, Google only sent it out to select people and I, I'm not I'm thankful that they sent it to me I wasn't expecting it that's for sure um, but yeah just wait until the coming year whenever uh, they've had more time to work on it and it's actually available uh, in retail and I, I guarantee this this product is going to be worth the wait so yeah that's it that's all I basically wanted to share today hope you'll have a great day